chemistry, and you are watching Grand Science. In this video, we'll learn about what are redox reactions, redox in terms of electrons and oxidation number, and we'll also learn what are oxidizing and reducing agents. Before we understand what are redox reactions, let's first understand what is an oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. So starting with one of the example of oxidation reaction here, magnesium is reacting with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Now what's happening in this reaction? Magnesium is gaining oxygen and becoming magnesium oxide compound from the element magnesium that shows that it has gained oxygen. So such a reaction where and gaining of oxygen occurs we say it's oxidized so here magnesium has gained oxygen and it is oxidized magnesium is oxidized so we can say that gain of oxygen is called oxidation so a reaction in which gaining of oxygen has occurred is called oxidation reaction now let's see one more example here now what's happening here carbon is reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide so again we can say that carbon has gained oxygen to become carbon dioxide again gaining of oxygen has occurred and such a reaction again is called an oxidation reaction and now also let's see that what is a reduction reaction so if in terms of oxygen we say gaining of oxygen is oxidation then loss of oxygen should be called as reduction yes it's called reduction so let's have a look at this example here where zinc oxide is reacting with carbon to form zinc and carbon monoxide so here what has happened with the zinc oxide is that zinc oxide lost the oxygen to become zinc so here reduction process has occurred so you can say that zinc oxide is reduced to zinc so oxidation and reduction is in terms of oxygen also but then we have one more definition to define oxidation and reduction especially when an hydrogen takes part in a reaction we can also say that reduction is addition of hydrogen especially in organic reactions there are many organic reactions where the gaining of hydrogen occurs or hydrogen is added during the reaction so here for example is ethene is here ethene is reacting with hydrogen to form ethane here it's ethane and you can see that here it was c2h4 has gained two hydrogen to become c2h6 ethene changes to ethane so here gaining of hydrogen has occurred so we can say that oxidation can be defined as removal of hydrogen and reduction is addition of hydrogen so in terms of hydrogen you can again define reduction as oxidation in terms of hydrogen here that is opposite of oxygen here hydrogen is getting added in reduction where it was loss of oxygen in reduction so in oxidation there was a gaining of oxygen and here it's removal of hydrogen so it's opposite hydrogen and oxygen behave in an opposite way in oxidation and reduction and now we already know that reduction can be defined as a loss of oxygen and we have seen that with the help of such a reaction earlier but so here is the reduction reaction where zinc oxide is reduced to zinc but if you have a look at this reaction again then look at the carbon what is happening to carbon carbon is gaining oxygen and so in the same reaction oxidation is also occurring two processes occurring together zinc oxide getting reduced and carbon is getting oxidized and as both of this process is occurring together in a reaction we can say that oxidation and reduction always takes place together in a reaction so when an oxidation is occurring in a reaction then definitely reduction is also occurring together and its vice versa also and such a reaction where both the processes occurring together is called a redox reaction so redox is a combination of reduction and oxidation together called redox reaction 
Let's understand redox with one more example. Here is one more reaction where iron 3 oxide is reacting with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. Now this is one of the commonest reaction occurring during the extraction of iron. This is how we extract iron from its ore hematite which mainly is composed of iron 3 oxide. So if you have a look at this reaction, in this reaction, iron oxide is getting reduced to iron where oxygen is lost and carbon monoxide is getting oxidized where one more oxygen is added to carbon monoxide to become carbon dioxide. So again where reduction and oxidation occurs together is a redox reaction. Now let's have a look at this reaction where there is no involvement of, of oxygen or hydrogen. So now what about this reaction? Let's understand this reaction in detail with the help of some ionic equation. Let's understand what is happening to sodium. Now sodium is an atom here, a neutral atom or an element. Now what is happening to sodium is it's forming a compound. So what we can say is that sodium changes to sodium iron by losing an electron. Now we know that NaCl is ionic compound wherein transfer of electron occurs from sodium to chlorine. So sodium loses one electron and chlorine gains one electron. So sodium has changed to sodium iron, a cation and loss of electron has occurred and at the same time chlorine is a element in molecular form and it changes to chloride ion and this happens when it gains two electrons. So gaining of electron occurs to chlorine and loss of electron occurs with the sodium. So in this reaction, in this process, we know that there is some gain and loss of electrons. Sodium lost electron and chlorine gained electrons. So in other terms, in terms of electrons, we can say that a loss of electron is called oxidation and a gain of electrons is called reduction. And to remember this process, you can remember it in short as oil rig. Now what is oil rig? Oxidation is losing of electrons and reduction is gaining of electrons. That is the easiest method of remembering the oxidation and reduction definition in terms of electrons. But let me explain you one more point here in terms of oxidation number. And before we understand the change in the oxidation number, let us understand that elements of any form elements have the oxidation number as always zero. The oxidation number of any element is zero. So here sodium has an oxidation number of zero and chlorine also have an oxidation number of zero. Now what change has occurred for sodium? The oxidation number of sodium has increased to plus one. So there is an increase in the oxidation number. I would write here increase in the oxidation number. And what about chlorine? It has changed from 0 to minus 1. So here the oxidation number has decreased. Now we already know that chlorine has undergone reduction and sodium has undergone oxidation because there was a loss of electron which is called oxidation and gain of electron is called a reduction here. So here you know that there is an oxidation process occurring with the increase in the oxidation number and reduction when the oxidation number decreases. So here in short I will tell you to remember that if oxidation number reduces its reduction. If oxidation number increases its oxidation reduction reduces. That is very easy to remember. So one more definition for oxidation and reduction here is that oxidation is oxidation is increase in oxidation number. Increase in oxidation number that is oxidation and reduction 
reduction is decrease in the oxidation number you can also say reducing the oxidation number is reduction so decrease in the oxidation number is reduction so there is three types of definition of oxidation and reductions reaction now lastly let's understand what is oxidizing and reducing agent with the help of same example where we know that zinc oxide has reduced to zinc and carbon has oxidized to carbon monoxide now what is happening here is that zinc oxide is itself getting reduced but it is giving its oxygen to carbon to oxidize it so here you can say that zinc oxide is an oxidizing agent or it's an oxidant why because it is oxidizing carbon to carbon monoxide now in the same term if you think once again carbon is gaining oxygen and getting oxidized but then it is taking away oxygen from the zinc oxide so it is helping zinc oxide to getting reduced so carbon is called a reducing agent or a reductant so here any species or any substance in the reaction which itself is getting reduced is called an oxidizing agent or oxidant a species or a substance which itself is getting oxidized is called a reducing agent or a reductant we had seen one more example of a redox reaction earlier in this video where an iron oxide was getting reduced and carbon monoxide was getting carbon dioxide getting oxidized so pause the video and think once again what is an oxidizing agent and what is a reducing agent in this reaction so if you have a look here iron oxide is getting reduced so oxidizing carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide iron oxide is an oxidizing agent carbon monoxide is taking away oxygen from the iron oxide so it's a reducing agent because it has reduced iron oxide so this is how a reducing agent and oxidizing agents can be defined now let's revise few points about redox reactions because we had learned many definitions of oxidizing agents oxidation and reduction reactions here so oxidation is what in different terms let's revise firstly we knew that oxidation is gain of oxygen secondly removal of hydrogen is called oxidation and thirdly a loss of electron is called oxidation and one more definition is an increase in the oxidation number is oxidation now let's see what is reduction a loss of oxygen is called reduction in other terms addition of hydrogen is also called reduction a gain of electron is called reduction and lastly a decrease in the oxidation number is called reduction so here we have four different definitions of oxidation and reduction and as we have already seen that a combination of oxidation and reduction occurring in the same reaction such a reaction is called a redox reaction